Morning Foothill, I'm Eileen Harrison. And I'm Cameron McBride. This is show 17 of FTV. Photographers M.P. Brooke and Emily Perez give us an inside look at orchestra's concert last Wednesday. to the canned food drive. Julian Berry and Taylor Hoffiger met with Megan Rosudo from ASB to find out more about the canned food drive. The canned food drive is just all the students participating in helping the community out, especially around the holidays. It's important just, to donate just to help the community and um, help those in need around the holidays and just give back. It's all going to the OC Rescue Mission. Bring the cans into your first period class. The first place prize is a pizza party, second place is a donut party, and third is an ice cream party. The canned food drive starts on the 2nd and ends on the 18th. With the exceptional performance of Foothills girls golf team, reporter Aaron Tran and photographer Brooke Maxson interviewed a few players to learn how their season has been this year. Hey Knights, I'm reporter Aaron Tran here on the couch with our girls golf team. My name is Emily Sumner, I've been playing golf for six years. Hi, I'm Elise Sumner. I've been playing golf for seven years. Hi, I'm Katie Stribling. I've been playing golf since I was 10. I'm Maddie Chu. My favorite part about golf is all the people that you get to meet and playing with your teammates is really cool. I like playing golf because it's a lot of fun. Because it's a competitive sport and it challenges you. And because it's very mentally challenging. Katie, what are some highlights of your season this year? Uh, it was really cool because we won league for the fourth year in a row and we made it to the first round of CIF and we only missed by two shots to go to the second round so we did pretty well this season. Emily, how are you guys doing in individuals? Well, Katie, me and Maddie all made it to individuals for third round, which is next Thursday and Elise, who is a freshman, made it to first round, which is really good. Elise, who is your biggest inspiration? I think all of our inspiration is Maddie because she's a really good golfer and she's committed to Stanford. So we inspired to be just like her. I'm comparatively committed to play golf at Stanford for 2016 and it should be really fun. I love my teammates so far and it'll be interesting to see what we can do as a team. We practice every day for about three or four hours. We usually hit balls on the range and chip and then putt. And we always have a lesson every week with our coach, who's also at Teston Ranch. I know I am. Well then you might be interested in FTV's new segment, Cooking with Kyle. Here's reporter Garrett Elms with photographer Aaron Tran. Hey guys, welcome to a new segment on FTV called Cooking with Kyle. 
Today we have two guests with us here today, El Linglehu and Abby Mosa. Let's get cooking. Today we are making pumpkin bread. For what you need for this recipe is one cup of oil, two cups of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, three eggs, two cups of solid packed pumpkin, three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And then after you get all your dry ingredients, you, you whisk it up together. Great whisking. Thanks. You put it into a bigger bowl. You put the wet ingredients in. You gotta crack your three eggs and start whisking them. Now the cool thing about eggs are that you can actually drink them raw, Abby. So for today, this is a special FTV exclusive, just a shot of a raw egg. It's just it's great, you know? Put the three eggs in the bowl. And you grab two teaspoons of vanilla. You get two cups of sugar. And then you get one cup of oil after. Two cups of pumpkin pie spice. And after that, you mix it all. It smells great. And if you like, you can also add a cup of chocolate chips. Put the mix into your two um, bread shaped molds. Think about perfect! That is how you make chocolate pumpkin bread. Thanks for watching Cooking with Kyle. FTV is getting an upgrade. Reporter Charlie Hole and photographer Connor Davis got an uh, inside scoop on FTV's change of location and upgrade. Things all the way over to our new event center classroom, okay, and AJ's team is going to be in charge of moving stuff in this classroom to this corner. Organized. Some of these boxes are a little heavy, so make sure that you lift with your legs and not with your back. Okay. This is art. <laughs> Cheers. November is here. Reporter Taryn Alley and Christina Kariki interviewed students about what they're excited for in November. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Yeah. I'm looking forward to turkey, turkey, and more turkey. All right, what are you looking forward to this month? Sweet potatoes! Well, it was my birthday yesterday, so yeah, just about that. I'm excited for, well, my birthday was yesterday, and I'm excited for, I guess, I don't know, my letters of college acceptance. So what are you looking forward to this month? That'll be Thanksgiving. 
I'm looking for the family reunion. We're talking about Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Sports here at Foothill are a major part of history, so reporter Brooke Maxson and photographer Nikki McClellan highlighted the fall sports here at Foothill. Bump, set, set spike. spike. Reporters Sebastian Moreno and Zane Ralph cover last week's girls volleyball game. Gonna pronounce with their weekly sports. Boys water polo starts CIF Thursday at home at four o'clock. And congratulations to Emily Sumner and Maddie Chu for making it to the third round of CIF. And lastly, sorry about the boys football. It's come to an end and it was a good season, guys. That's it. In lieu of the popularity of superheroes, FTV's Eileen Harrison and Luis Nicasso caught up with students on their favorite superheroes. Hi, I'm Eileen Harrison. Today we're going to ask what students think about superheroes and what their favorite superheroes are. Superman. 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 Flash. And, yeah, and I could like do everything really fast, and then I'd, I'd be done with college right now. Like Batman. He's Daredevil. A Daredevil's a boss. Oh my god. <laughs> Probably flying. I was actually gonna say that. That's a really good one. Good. I would, I would fly. That's a popular. Yeah. If you could be any super, what's your favorite superhero? 
Aquaman. 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 I, I want to be uh, super strength, of course, and uh, I would love to be Mr. Incredible. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I have super strength, like John Cena. I would definitely want to read people's minds because Ew, no. that would be so interesting. Like, or fly. Flying like would be great gross. too. I would want to fly. The, time, the ability to stop time so that I can do my homework and sleep when I need to. Yeah. Uh, breathe underwater. <laughs> Flash. Uh, that's a good one. What do you want to read people's minds? Who's your favorite superhero? Um, Batman. Do you like all the superhero movies that have come out in the last like five years? Actually, yeah, most of them. Uh, flying. Invisibility. Control time. Uh, mine probably be power flight. Because he doesn't want to fly around. I don't need a car anymore. You know what I mean? I'm Cameron McBride. And I'm Eileen Harrison. Thanks for watching Show 17 of FTV. <laughs>